I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I am an onco surgeon. I practice in Apollo Spectra and Motherhood Hospitals. Breast cancer has many risk factors. This risk factors include avoidable risk factors, unavoidable risk factors. Unavoidable risk factors include being a woman itself and size of the breast itself and age of the women itself which cannot be avoided these risk factors are all already existing risk factors but there are certain risk factors which can be avoided so we always used to think that breast cancer comes from a genetic predisposition yes breast cancer is because of change in the genes in the breast epithelial cells on the lobules and the ducts but this gene change can be present by birth that is only in 50% of the people that is BRCA1, BRCA2 gene being positive it's only 15% so 85% of genetic change that happens in the breast is an acquired condition because of many predisposing factors so deficiency of vitamin D itself is one of the very high risk factors smoking, alcoholism Eating foods which contains a lot of toxins and oxidants in the diet which can increase breast cancer risk. Infection in the breast itself is one of the high risk factors. So what do these risk factors do is the risk factor increase the exposure of the breast to the estrogen. That's why pregnancy is known to give protection by exposing the breast to progesterone alone for 9 months. So, Pregnancy is known to be one of the protective factors of breast cancer. So nulliparous women, it's being a nulliparous woman itself is high risk for factor for breast cancer again. There's a condition called cystic disease of the breast, fibrocystic disease of the breast with fibroadenoma. At one point of time, we used to think that this is not related to breast cancer, but now it is considered to be one of the high risk breast for breast cancer.